And so we, we need we need some good women like yourselves to spoil us as preachers because you are our confidants. You are the ones that we can talk to when we can't talk to anybody else. And like you, you just can't talk to the ordinary sisters. There are some things you just can't tell them because they don't understand. And for you to support your man through thick and thin, uh, as Hillary. It, it takes that some time to make it. And uh, if we remember that, we should be encouraged. I'm going to ask you to stand as we do at Liberty City and to uh, just stand up now and repeat after me from the writing of 1 John chapter 4, beginning in verse 19, we have this recorded. We love him, we love him. because he first loved us. If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother, whom he has seen, how can he love God, whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God, love his brother also. Turn to the one beside you, shake their hands, tell them God loves you and so do I.
Dear God and Father, we thank you so very much for giving us the privilege to speak a word for Jesus. Thank you, our Father, for saving us and cleansing our souls, turning our lives around and placing us in the ministry. Thank you for our wives who keep us straight and who help us along the way, who gives us encouragement, who soothes our minds and eases our pains, who speaks sweet words to us of encouragement <coughs> that we may continue to do thy will. Bless this gathering this morning and bless your word as we speak it to them. May we say something that might encourage someone here today in order that they may make their journey into the everlasting shore. You are the servant's prayer in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Preaching to preachers' wives is like preaching to the choir. <laughs> you've heard all the sermons, and perhaps you've heard this one. The only thing you haven't heard me preach it. And so just give me your attention just for a moment. I want to call your attention to verse number 44 for a focal point of Acts 27. And the rest, some on boards, and some on broken pieces of the ship. I want to use for a topic, making it on broken pieces. Making it on broken pieces pieces. Life as we live it in the ministry is oftentimes fragmented. Right. We move from church to church, eldership to eldership, from folk who like us to folk who don't like us, from good parsonages to shacks, to good homes. We move among brothers who feel that their only job is to keep track of what we say and do. We, who are in God's service, sometimes we are unable to bring it all together. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. You got it in the box, but it doesn't make any sense until you put the pieces together. And many times starting out as a preacher's wife, you oftentimes find yourself asking, why did I marry him? I thought it would be different from this. Look like Sister Big Shot's wife. She must not have gone through what I'm going through. And so you question yourself about this event and this time in your life that you have gotten yourself into. And it becomes necessary then for you to continue on since you have made that commitment. And you try to go on and as a child of God, as this theme of this lecture says, challenges facing God's women in times like these. You keep on trying to make it 